Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through five things I wish I knew earlier before buying and installing a wind turbine for my home. Whether you're completely off-grid, planning to reduce your electric bill, or just curious about renewable energy. What I learned can save you time, money, and a lot of frustration. Let's get started. Let's start with the most obvious, but also the most overlooked factor, wind speed. When I first started looking into wind power, I assumed that if the wind occasionally knocked over my garbage cans, I probably had enough wind for a turbine. Spoiler, I didn't. Here's the truth. Wind energy is non-linear. That means doubling your wind speed doesn't just double your power, it can increase it by up to eight times. A turbine rated for 500 watts might only give you 50 or 100 watts if your wind speeds are low or inconsistent. So if you're in a low wind area, even the best turbine won't help much. What should you do? Check wind maps for your region. Websites like windy.com or local weather data can give you a rough idea. But even better, buy a cheap anemometer and measure the wind at your property for a few weeks or even months. Test it at the height you plan to mount the turbine. Wind closer to the ground is often useless. I wish I had done this first. It would have saved me a lot of trial and error, and a turbine that barely turned for months. Let's talk about cost. You've probably seen wind turbines on Amazon or AliExpress for $150 or $200 that promise 1,000 watts or free energy for life. Let me tell you, I fell for one of those. It arrived in a box with barely any documentation, cheap plastic parts, and a blade that looked like it came from a dollar store. After a week, it barely spun. After a month, it broke. The problem is, many of these cheap turbines lie about their rated output. They may say 1,000 watts, but that's under hurricane force wind, something your house will hopefully never see. In real world use, you'll be lucky to get 50 watts out of them. So instead of throwing money at cheap options, look for trusted brands like Primus Wind Power, Missouri Wind and Solar, or even local manufacturers. Real user reviews with photos and performance data. And most importantly, ask around in forums or online communities. People will tell you which ones are actually worth it. A $150 turbine that gives you 30 watts is much worse than a $700 turbine that reliably gives you 300 watts. Lesson learned. This is something that surprised me. Installing a wind turbine is not just about screwing it into a pole and plugging it into your house. There's a whole electrical ecosystem you need to manage. Let's break it down. You need a charge controller that's compatible with wind power, which is different from solar charge controllers. A battery bank to store the energy, unless you're feeding it back into the grid. An inverter to convert the DC power to usable AC power. A dump load or diversion load. This is critical. If your battery is full and wind is still blowing, the excess energy has to go somewhere. If it doesn't, your system can overheat or even catch fire. And then there's wiring, grounding, lightning protection. So yeah, it's not exactly plug and play. It's doable, even for DIYers. But I wish someone had told me just how many components I'd need to make it safe and functional. If you're not comfortable with basic electrical wiring, you may want to consult someone or start small and learn as you go. Another thing I totally underestimated, wind turbines have moving parts, and moving parts mean maintenance. After the first few months, my turbine started making strange sounds. At first, I thought it was just the wind, until one day, a blade cracked. The cause? A bolt had slowly worked itself loose from constant spinning and vibration. What I learned is this. Wind turbines need regular checkups. It's not optional. Here's what you should do every month or so. Inspect blades for cracks, warping, or imbalance. Tighten bolts and mounting brackets, especially after high winds. Check bearings. They wear out faster than you'd think. Clean off debris. Even bird droppings or dust can throw off the turbine's balance. If your model has brushes or slip rings, 
inspect and replace them as needed. Even small issues, like a loose connection or misaligned blade, can turn into major failures if ignored. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Just go in with your eyes open and you'll avoid some of the pain I went through. This is a big one. I learned pretty quickly that wind turbines don't work 24-7, even in windy areas. Sometimes the wind dies down for days. That's when solar saves you. Pairing wind with solar panels is the perfect off-grid combination because they complement each other. Solar works best during the day and in summer. Wind often blows more at night and during stormy seasons when solar output is low. In my setup, I ended up adding solar panels just to get through calm weather periods, and it made a huge difference, not just in reliability, but in peace of mind. If you're planning a renewable energy system for your home, seriously consider a hybrid setup. Plus, solar panels are now super affordable, and the tech is incredibly mature compared to wind. Wind is cool, but wind and solar? That's where the magic happens. Finally, let's talk about something most people don't think about until it's too late. Zoning laws, noise, and neighbor complaints. I live in a semi-rural area, so I assumed no one would care. But guess what? My first turbine was loud. It made a faint but constant whoosh that my neighbor noticed and didn't appreciate. Depending on where you live, there may be height restrictions on structures, especially above 35 feet, noise ordinances, even small turbines can be loud in gusty weather, or HOA rules that outright ban visible turbines. Even if you're totally off-grid, your town or county might require a permit. And insurance? Some policies don't cover damage from or to wind systems. Moral of the story, check the rules before you buy or build. Talk to your neighbors. A little heads up can go a long way in avoiding drama later. All right, those are the five things I wish I knew earlier about wind turbines for home use. To recap, measure your wind, don't guess. Avoid cheap junk, it'll cost you more in the long run. Know what you're wiring into. It's not just the turbine. Hybrid is better. Wind plus solar equals consistency. Be a good neighbor and a legal one. Renewable energy is amazing but it's not magic. Planning and knowledge make all the difference. If you found this helpful, give it a like, and maybe share it with someone who's thinking about going off-grid or building their own system. Let me know in the comments, have you used a wind turbine? What worked? What didn't? I'd love to hear your stories. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.